This video provides a quick start guide for deploying data sources from our partners to your AWS IoT SiteWise Edge gateway. For more detailed information, please see the advanced workflow video linked in the description. Here we have our SiteWise Edge gateway, which has been deployed to an EC2 instance. We'll add a data source. Select Easy Edge. Give it a descriptive name and check the authorized box. There are information boxes saying that an Easy Edge account will be required to complete the configuration and that Docker must be installed on the gateway. I've already installed Docker on the gateway, so I'm going to sign into Easy Edge. And then save the data source. As we save the data source, it opens a new tab in Easy Edge that will allow us to complete our configuration. The default values are fine, so I'm going to click Next and Finish. Now, in our gateway, our data source has been created. And in Easy Edge, we can list our edge nodes and see that our node is onboarding. Let's wait for this to complete. Our edge node is online, so let's proceed by adding a device. We can select Siemens S7 client, and we have a few options for setting up our connector here. In a real world scenario, you are likely to have a file describing the data available for use with this Create with JIT connector option. If you select this option, it will automatically fill out all of the fields that I am about to set manually. However, with my data source, I don't have that file, so I'm going to create from scratch. I'm going to set it as voltage. These parameters are correct. I'll set it as an unsigned short integer. I'll set the name. And I'll set the address to localhost, as well as a PDU size. This setup will be custom to your component if you're not able to import a file for your parameters. Click Finish, and we're ready to deploy. We can deploy our solution when ready, and we'll wait for this to complete. Now it's finished deploying, we can take a look at the voltage measurements. With voltage measurements coming in, we want to connect this to our SiteWise asset. In SiteWise, we want to make sure a model exists for the transformer. We have this simulated transformer asset model. It has these measurements available, and we're going to connect the voltage to our voltage measurements. We'll make sure an asset exists for the model. Here is our asset. And we can see there are currently no measurements. Now we can open the data streams and see that there's a new data stream available, apart from the ones created by the OPC UA collector and the simulator. This S7 source is providing voltage. Let's tick this and manage it. We can choose the measurement. Then under the assets, we can select the transformer asset voltage measurement. Select Choose and Update. This associates the unstructured voltage data with our structured data in SiteWise. Now, if we look at our transformer asset, we can see that the values are starting to arrive. 
In this quick start guide, we saw how to add the EasyEdge data source to an existing AWS IoT SiteWise Edge gateway and connect the data stream to our SiteWise asset. If you're interested to see more of what's possible, please see the advanced workflow video linked in the description.